Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and here I am in the home office once again to give you a hands-on demo. And we're talking about a feature specific and new to Google TV boxes. This is the Google Home integration. It gives you smart home control right in the palm of your hand with your TV remote. I think it's the biggest new feature that Google TV has had in a long, long time. And I demoed it for you in the Google Streamer 4K video that I posted a couple of weeks ago. You can check out that video right now. We're starting to see this update roll out to other Google TV branded devices, some ONN branded boxes, as well as some TCL TVs and probably others as well. So I'm going to show you how to check to see that you have all the current updates. And then I'll show you how to set up this new feature. And then I'll show you exactly how it works, give you a little hands on demo. So let's get right to it. And I'll start by again, showing you how to make sure you've got the newest updates. I'll shrink myself down. And that's the first step. So you want to go over in the upper right hand corner of your Google Google TV interface to the gear icon. That is your settings page. Uh, tap into settings. And then here, what you want to do is go down to system. So first, we're going to make sure that we've got the newest system updates available for our box. I'm not sure who's controlling this update. Might be Google, could be the manufacturers. But nonetheless, you always want to make sure you have the newest system updates. So I'll click on system update. It'll automatically start checking for an update. And this will let you know either you have the newest update, as you can see, I do here, or it'll ask you to install a new update. So that's step one for this process. But what we also want to do is make sure that we've got all the newest updates for our apps because this feature might be part of an app update not entirely sure exactly how they're pushing this out different features come out in different ways go back to your settings menu and then you'll see an option that says apps so we're going to click on that and then in that menu towards the bottom you should have a uh, menu option that says manage updates so i've got it set to automatically update my apps as those updates come in but you may have that turned off nonetheless go to see available updates and this will show you any updates that might be available. So even though I have it turned on to automatically install updates, it says I do have four updates pending. So take a look, I actually have an option to update the Google TV home app, which may be where this new feature is coming from. And then it shows me which apps have recently been updated. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update all. And what this will do is update any apps that are pending new updates. And this could provide you with this feature that we're talking about. Okay, that update is now installed. And now I'm going to go back home. And the quickest way to check to see if you have this new feature, by the way, is just to go over to the settings icon, the gear icon again, and you will see an option right there that says Google Home. That means you've got this new Google Home option built into the Google TV device. And now I want to show you how to set it up and then how to use it. So we'll click on the Google Home option. And the first thing it does is give us an option that says control home devices from your TV. View and control compatible devices and automations from your Google TV quick settings. You can change your selection later in your TV settings. And so we only have two very simple options here. Do you want to show the home panel, which you do because that's where you're going to see all of your smart home options. And do you want uh, doorbell notifications on your TV? If you don't have a Google doorbell, then you're going to want to turn that off. I'm going to turn both of these off and hit save to show you what happens if I do that. Because now if I go, I can see that that option is entirely gone. So how do we get that back? Well, let's jump into settings and see if we can find it. Okay, guys, that took me a minute. I'm not going to lie. I lost this uh, feature and I'm going to show you how to get it back. Jump into settings and go into all settings again, go down to accounts and profiles, and then pick the profile you're using for this dev device and then go down to Google Home and we'll turn this back on. We'll turn on Home Panel and I'll turn on Doorbell Notifications on TV. That was actually a little bit difficult to find. I'm glad I found it and was able to show you guys where to find it as well. So now that it's set up and turned on, let me go back into my settings menu and I see that this menu option has returned. So I'm going to click that and take a look. Now what we see is our Google Home panel. So you may ask yourself if, uh, if you're using Google Home, where is this coming from? Because clearly, as you guys just saw, I didn't set anything up on my computer. So where this is coming from is the Google Home app on your phone. And if you have Google Home set up, your favorites page is going to look exactly like the page that you're looking at on your screen. In fact, that's where you customize this. This is basically a mirror of your app on your phone. So go on your phone, set it up on your phone if you haven't already, and then that will be what you see on your TV. 
So the options I have here are pretty cool. I've got my smart cameras right there. Again, these have to be set up on Google Home on your phone and with your account already, or else none of this is gonna show up. I also have all my lights. So you'll see if I click into here, these are all the lights I have set up on my Google Home account. I've got uh, five climate devices. This includes, of course, thermostats, as well as temperature sensors. It looks like it also has my fireplace in here. Not sure exactly why, but nonetheless, that's in there as well. And then I've got this set up as my favorite. So I can adjust my living room thermostat. I can adjust my upstairs thermostat right from here with my remote. And then I've got one of my fireplaces on here as well. I've got some shades here. I can open and close those shades. But again, these are shortcuts that I set up as my favorites in my phone app and that's where you're gonna to wanna to do that. So what I wanna do for you is show you exactly how that works. If I come into here, they actually have some buttons on the bottom of the app that say reorder and edit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click edit and then what I can do from here is add a light to this interface that isn't currently in there. And in this case, I'm gonna add what I call my studio light. That's the light that I'm using right now to light me up. Now you'll see here on my phone, it's now been added right there underneath open shades and closed shades. So eventually it'll show up on the TV interface. And what I have noticed through testing is that it doesn't happen instantaneously, although it did happen pretty quickly because there it is right there. How cool is that? So you can see this is a slider because I can change the percentages. I can also click it and it'll turn the light off just like that. Right there from my TV remote on my Google TV device, isn't that awesome? I think, again, this is just one of the biggest new features that we've seen on Google TV in a long time, especially for anyone who's using the Google Home ecosystem already. It's just absolutely fantastic. And just to show you how this works, you can see this is my live camera from my kitchen right now. And if I click open shades, it'll actually start opening those automated shades that I have there in my kitchen. Again, I'm controlling this all from the Google TV interface. I can control this from the Google TV device down here in my office. I can control it from the Google TV device in my living room. I can pretty much control it from any Google TV device in my home on my network. And it's pretty simple. It's pretty cut and dry. Again, all of the custom customization of that interface happens on your phone. So don't forget that because that is the primary device for setting this up, for customizing it. Once it's set up on your phone, that's exactly what you'll see on your TV when you're ready to actually use it. Let me try one more thing too. I mentioned how there's a reorder button on the bottom there as well. So I wanna reorder this and I'm gonna put that camera from my kitchen, see if I can move that closer to the top and I'm gonna slide that all the way up to the top so it's right on top of my thermostats. Again, the question is how quickly will that change reflect on my Google TV box? The change that I just made on my phone, seconds ago. We'll give it some time here and see how long it takes. All right, so I've waited about 30 seconds here and it hasn't shown that update yet. So let me exit out of this menu, perhaps refreshing the menu by going back into it with the remote might possibly fix that and it still is not showing where I moved that camera. That camera should be moving up there to the top. But you'll notice again, I have zero options on this interface on the TV to change anything. All of that has to happen on the phone. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, that camera is not moving on the interface. I don't know why it's not updating, but I did just move that light, the studio light that I added up to the top to see how long that might take. Perhaps the camera can't be moved, I don't know. Okay, after a couple more minutes, it finally took. I have no idea why it took so long, but I did feel like as soon as I added another light, another device, the coach lights, that seemed to maybe force the whole interface to update. And once it did that, all the changes I made actually showed up and stuck. So, you know, perhaps it's a work in progress. Obviously it's not perfect. And the synchronization between your phone and your Google TV interface might be kind of still getting all the bugs worked out. But nonetheless, I wanted to give you that little insight into how this works. And hopefully that gives you an idea of this new feature. Maybe you'll see it on your Google TV box pretty soon if you don't see it already. And I'd love to hear your questions. What do you guys want to know? Should I do another video? Anything more that I should dig into? I read every single comment. I answer every single question. And I can't wait to see what questions you guys have about this brand new Google Home feature built in to the Google TV interface. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.